you gotta but have a, shit, uh, man. Yeah, you need an understanding partner. For real, is it, absolutely. That's the one thing. So, all right, now that we're you brought that up, I cannot, and that's a word that triggers me. Hmm. Everyone's like, so when they try to look for a partner, a relationship, um, someone that you know, the life partner, what they'll say is, yeah, I want you know the the very abstract stuff, right? Or or the shallow things where they say, I want someone who will make me laugh. I want, which is cool. I get it. I want someone who's beautiful, who's sexy, who's uh, wealthy, right? And I get all those things. But to me, the number one thing in a life partner, it has to be understanding. Like you need to understand because I got a crazy life, right? Yeah. And there's going to be situations and I need you to understand and trust me. That is so crucial. With it, you, could, someone could be sexy, someone could be funny, but if they're not understanding, it's not gonna work. Or You're, you can't yes. be in at home constantly fighting because this motherfucker right here <laughs> cannot understand. I'm working so hard. I'm not out here messing around, and 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 you know, it's just having someone that that just understands and they get you. They get you. They get you your weaknesses, your strength, and they're gonna support you through it. It's so key. Yeah. It's so key, and the, and the, you just saying that it, it just, I mean, I th- I don't think this day and age most people understand that they need to find someone that's understanding. That's that's a top two trait. Yep. I, I at this point, even if I get the feeling that she's trying to understand, that's very satisfying. Yeah. That it doesn't necessarily mean that they totally understand where you're coming from that and they may not they may not they may not because they're not actors as well they may, yeah they may never but the, but the thing is that you know that at some point like you've touched your partner and and they can see that you're fully fully committed to what you're talking about i'm being kind of abstract here but <laughs> but that's where trust comes in but that, that exactly that's exactly. What, when you're abstract and, and they don't fully understand and it's because they you know they're not they don't have their foot in your shoe yeah. You know, both feet, and they somewhat understand because they see you from a distance. But at the same time, they it, it's like you know what, I love him or I love her, and I trust her or him, right? And I think that is key. But again, it, it can backfire. You give the understanding and trust to the wrong person. Holy shit, is that gonna backfire? <laughs> you know, you have to find. But just for and I'm not I'm not saying I'm I'm saying this for anyone that's looking for someone. In a relationship, you should look for someone who is understanding and that can trust you. They're not psycho. They're not going to stalk you, go through all your shit. Question I mean, everything that you do. Question you everything know? you do. Strip you of all your friends, right, in order to gain control to, of you and thinking that they cut off all of those things. It'll take away all of temptation, any, you know, or any type of control or influence that the other friends may have over you. I think it's just... I think going down that road in a relationship is extremely toxic. And then at the same time, whether you're male or female, I think that you lose a big part of you when you do that because now you have to try to like take away a part of you in order to fit this person's mold of what they want you to be. By them kind of boxing you in, it's a, it's it's restricting. Yeah. 